What's good, my lucky me? Welcome back to another lovely, beautiful, sexy, amazing video. The equally lovely, equally beautiful, equally sexy, and equally amazing lit. I already know what time it is now. Let's go. Now, firstly, I'd like to apologize. I've been on holiday in Mexico for the past couple of weeks, so I haven't been had my laptop to be making videos like that. But I'm back now, and guys, today we're going to be discussing whether or not the J Hus album rollout is failing and we're gonna break this down in way more detail we already know what you gotta do you just gotta like comment subscribe to update and drop a banger like this one and hit that note because you're in a knee so you can be the first to know one of these videos comes out and without further ado let's get straight into it now as we all already know the rollout for jay huss's new album has officially begun we got the first track called it's crazy a couple weeks ago which i'll discuss a bit later on but i think the main cause of concern with this album rollout is the most recent track he dropped called who told you featuring drake now it looked like this song was a shoe in to get number one with the original tracking numbers for the track however the song was unfortunately blocked from this feat by central c and dave sprinter remaining at number one for a second week now i'll be honest the who told you song itself is actually quite good it's catchy it's got that nice afro swing vibe to it that we would normally expect from j huss and this is unfortunately one of the first problems with the rollout i think that this should have been the comeback single for j huss in the first place i don't know why he decided to lead with that it's crazy tune i think that was definitely the wrong move on his part i get that maybe he was trying to surprise everyone with a different style but that unfortunately did end up backfiring on him and we'll discuss that a bit later but i think there's three main things at fault here with the release of this song number one drake's verse on this tune is pretty terrible i'm not gonna lie lol i'm fucking dead and i messed with drizzy but on this song he sounds like he's on a completely different tune. He's singing like he's on a dancehall tune. It sounds like he hasn't even heard the beat for this song. So there's not really any chemistry here between him and Jay Huss. You can very clearly tell that this was a verse Drake just recorded on his private jet and he sent it over to Jay Huss through Bluetooth. And, that's facts, so and then when we couple that in with the fact that this song didn't even come with a music video, again, they gave the music video to that It's Crazy tune instead of the song with the biggest rapper in the world on it. Like, I'm sorry, but I... I just have to wonder who is managing j huss who is making these decisions because no disrespect they're doing a terrible job the disrespect. and then couple that in with the fact that they decided to drop this j huss tune a week after central c and dave dropped their sprinter tune which might i add was the highest first week streamed song in the uk since adele's easy on me came out they didn't even wait for one of the heat of the biggest uk songs of the year to die down so they could give j huss the best possible chance to snag that number one no they decided to drop this tune immediately after central c and dave dropped so again i have to ask who is managing j huss and who is making these decisions because they are making absolutely terrible decisions from what i can see you're a Donut. And then there's also not really been any promo for this song other than, you know, Jay Huss teasing it on his Instagram and there's a TikTok dance for it that's going semi-viral at the moment. But other than that, as far as I can see, there's just been a bunch of poor decisions made all the way around with the release of this Who Told You song. Who told you to release the song like this? That's what I think. Who told you that? You get it? Cause I don't... Now then, if we move on to the It's Crazy tune, which was the first tune that Jay Huss released, his comeback single, if you will. I will say at the beginning of this part of the rollout, there was some signs that this rollout was going to be something very unique. Jay Huss had all the UK blog pages posting about him all day in the lead up to the release of the first single, which, you know, something that I haven't personally seen before from a UK artist when they're doing a rollout. But well, then the song itself actually comes out. And whilst, yes, the song is a hard song, is it the first song that we wanted to hear from J Huss after a three year long hiatus? I think not. Absolutely not. You know, we wanted some Afro swing. We wanted some Afro beats. We wanted that did you see type of vibe that we got from Common Sense and from Must Be and like that's the vibe that people were looking for that's the vibe people were expecting and i think that's why people weren't really gravitating towards the it's crazy tune when it originally dropped and then to add insult to injury the first line on the song is the devil in me followed by the demon in me oh yeah there is powerful niggardry at work here 
Now, I have not one devil nor one demon in me. So when I'm hearing lines like that on a song, it makes me no longer want to listen to said song. And I believe that most of the UK express this similar sentiment as within the first week, the song landed on number 15 on the UK singles chart, which is good for a regular song. But for a J Huss comeback song, that's pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. A J Huss comeback song should be at least in the top 10. In fact, the bar has been raised so high now that we should be at least in the top five. I'm not even going to lie. I think that it's, it's crazy tune. This was a type of song that you should be hearing on the album. Like, oh, this is like, this is a fire song. This is a bit different from the J Huss that I was expecting, but not the first song that you need to hear. Again, just a wrong decision on who, whoever's managing Jay Huss or who, whoever's making these decisions. It might not even be Jay Huss's manager. It might be Jay Huss himself, but people in that camp should have been there to say, yo, I don't think this is the right move. We've got the Drake tune here. Like, let's drop that first. Like, I don't know. It's just it's not looking good, man. Yeah, as you can see, there's been very poor handling from the two Jay Huss songs that we know of all around the board. I mean, we still haven't even got an official announcement of what the name of his new album will be. We're speculating that it's Don't Say Militant because that's all we've been hearing so it could be that but it hasn't actually been confirmed as of yet as far as i'm aware maybe he confirmed it whilst i was on holiday i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know but like we don't even have like a track list we don't have a release date we don't even have anything to look forward to per se with this j Huss rollout so it's just not looking as promising as I hoped it would. It looks like there's no real plan over at Jay Huss's camp. It looks like they're just playing things by ear. They're just seeing how the days are going to go, taking each day as it comes. And they're throwing things at the wall and trying to see what sticks. And honestly, I don't think it's been sticking the way that they would have liked. As I said, wrong decisions across the board. I think Jay Huss really needs to reevaluate what he's doing with this album. He needs to realize that this album is a very important album for him and this is the album that will dictate whether he can start calling himself one of the kings of the uk rap scene and if he wants to be in that realm he needs to be taking chances he this this could have been his chance to say yo i got a number one i can stand up with the daves with the stormsies and yeah he just had that tune and he just dished it away randomly like it's not making sense man it, it's not making sense but what do I know, right? I'm, I'm not in the music business. I'm just a humble observer. I'm just a millicent bystander. But in the words of Heady One, it's a bit of a sticky one still. But let me know if you think about this in the comment section down below. What do you think about this J Huss album rollout? Do you think that it's working in the way that it needs to? Or do you agree with me? And do you think that there's been some very poor decisions with the release of the past two songs that J Huss has dropped? Let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. But on the road to 2000 subs, you already know what time it is. You can follow my personal IG at the only lit tiny if you care about what i do i'm not making these bangers for you i post updates on twitter as well so you might as well follow me on there because what else are you doing with your life absolutely nothing mate stay black and if you're not black stay whatever race you are i bet peace well, you know I can sing. coincidence i think not